episode eight, meeting Mike. Welcome back to Distilling the Dream. We are back here in town in their original brewing centre. And we're going to chat with the brewers to find out how they've been coping while they're brewing at full capacity. Although Killarney Brewing Company's facilities have been quite small, the lads are really proud of what they've been able to produce. With their brewing facility custom designed by Browcon, world's leading brewing technology company, they've always managed to produce a lot of quality from a tight space. So you can see when, when we walk through here that it is quite uh, tight, yeah. both to the ceiling but also to the side by side with the tanks. You have to be careful. Even our cameraman can't film here. So. <laughs> Uh, what's it like trying to brew in this space? Uh, it works pretty well, but it's when you're trying to do too much, it gets to be a challenge. Brewing a beer here might involve opening 15 to 20 bags. Over there, for a batch twice the size, you might open four bags. Space-wise, we'll have a wider platform. We'll have more vessels spread out more. Uh, I've been taken through the, the space, the brewing equipment and everything, and Mike is saying it's fantastic, but the space is the one problem. So what's it like for you being the manager? Part of the fun and the, and the, the beauty of this place is, is the organized chaos. So, you know, we've had lines outside the door here and a truck waiting there for beer and you're trying to prioritize, you know, what's important and what's urgent. That's where the new place will give us a little bit of breathing room that we can accommodate everybody. We can put more beer out and we'll be more efficient in what we do and a little less stress Mike around the place to the TV, you know. Well, we're coming into the site. There's excitement all around, people passing are beeping at us with excitement. A sign, it's in writing, opening summer 2021. Look at that for a happy face. We better take a walk through and see if you're up to the task. <laughs> it's not just the team in Ireland that are getting excited. Braucon in Germany have started sending videos of the brewing equipment being assembled in their factory. We're upgrading the brewing system. Braucon are like Rolls Royce of a craft brewing world. You tell somebody in the States you have a Braucon brewing system, they're like, whoa man, that's so cool. So first impressions, Mike. It's big. Yeah, now it's really great. <laughs> but it, it's kind of hard to imagine, you know, where everything is going to be, is it? The, the three arch windows are basically, if you turn around there, one, two, three. So the middle arch window is here, and that's where our brew house starts. So then, yeah. Mike, you can take it from there. So along here, you're going to have the brew house vessels in a pla on a platform running across the front of the building. So you'll have this distance from the brew house up here for fermenting vessels and milling. The, the barley will be in there. The milling goes to the, comes out of the bulk bags. We add a couple small bags of uh, specialty malts in and that'll be conveyed up to the front. So we'll have a lot more space between the areas and it'll be spread out more. This is the ground floor. So again, like we keep on saying now, the only way is up from here on out. Uh, how much higher are we gonna get? And you're gonna have an incredible view of the mountains there as well, aren't you? Well, in here there's gonna be a, a massive vaulted ceiling with old style trusses on it uh, and that's I think the top of that is about eight meters eight and a half meters and the environment is special really we think it's special you can it see is, what's yeah. you can see yeah. what's going on yeah. with this visit of the other team members to site imaginations are running wild and this might just be the injection of enthusiasm the team needed we we'll certainly use a lot of the beers, a lot of the whiskies and everything as, as flavors and part of that whole experience. We're working with a consulting chef at the moment. It's mouth water. So. We want to bring this into town. We want to go after the likes of Apple, Google, PayPal, all the big guys in Dublin, get their conferences down here and get them in the off season from October right through to St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Fill up the hotels in town and, and do the conferences in town and then maybe some stuff at night here. That's what we want to do, we'll make Killarney a bigger yeah destination. That's really what's at the back of our mind. See, this is what happens when Tim is giddy and excited. The amount of notions and dreams that are being dreamt up of right here on the spot of the future brewing and distilling centre here. Next time we're back, God only knows what's going to be here. Next week, everything is falling into place.